and also stood upright. And indeed, your sheaves stood around and bowed down to my sheep. His brother said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed uh, have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dream and for the words and for his words. The story goes on that they got so mad at him, just like Cain. In that spirit, that spirit still alive. Mm -hmm. We generations in the future, and they still trying to murder their brother. Why? Because of what God has given him. But they go to murder him, and Reuben saves him. They end up throwing him in a pit. He goes into slavery. Y'all ever y'all heard about the story of Potiphar's house? Yes, sir. See, we need sons like Joseph that have a dream and the integrity. Somebody shout integrity. Integrity. To fulfill it. In, in Potiphar's house, Joseph's integrity was tested. Go to chapter 39. Go to chapter 39. Verse 6. <clears throat> chapter 39, verse 6. Thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand. He talked about Potiphar. And he did not know uh, what he had except for the bread which he ate. Now Joseph was, a ha was handsome in form and appearance. And it came to pass that after these things, that his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph. And she said, lie with me. But Joseph refused. Somebody shout, refuse. Refuse. When they try to bribe you, refuse. Amen. When they say, punch the clock and, 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 and don't work it, refuse. Mm -hmm. When, when they say take the money and you know it ain't yours, refuse. Yeah. When they say, you know what, you might as well lie on your taxes to get a little more money, refuse. Because you're on your way somewhere. God has given you a place where he wants you to be. And along the way, you got to have the integrity so that when you get to where God wants you to be, you can stand and be everything God said you are. Yeah. See, but if you start compromising along the way, you start taking a little bit of his, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We know a little bit of leaven leavens the whole lump. So you start doing a little bit, just compromising a little bit, just being disobedient a little bit. Yeah. Along the way, you may be forfeiting the thing that God has called you to. But Joseph said, no, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to sin against God. Oh. We read on a little further. And he refused and said to his master's wife, look, my master does not know what is with me in the house. And he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is no greater in this house than I. Nor has he kept back anything from me but you. Because you are his wife. And how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Yes. So she didn't take that well. The story goes on to say that she lied on him. And Joseph, this man with this great dream, ends up in prison for keeping his integrity. But even in the prison, he keeps his integrity. There were two men in the prison with him, and they had dreams in chapter 40. And he interpreted their dreams, one with negative and the other was positive. The one that was a positive, that he was going back to be with Pharaoh, Joseph said, no, Joseph said make sure you remember me when you get back to Pharaoh. Because in, in the jail, Joseph was put in authority. See, when you're a good person, when you're a humble person, when you're a person that can be trusted, everybody can see you. Everywhere you go, they'll just promote you for no reason. You're walking places and places, and they're like, hey, it's so-and-so, y'all. What? Why? They... Why? Because you're walking in integrity. You can be trusted. You can be trusted with position. You can be trusted with power. You can be trusted to be in authority. So Joseph, everywhere he went, people put him in authority. That's where he was with his father. He, he was in a position of authority with his father. He was looking over, out looking, overseeing his brothers. And he's one of the youngest. He gets to this place and the man leaves and forgets about him until Pharaoh has a dream. When Pharaoh has this dream, now the man remembers Joseph. And now the opportunity is knocking. Joseph remains committed. He remains committed to God. And he tells him that I don't interpret dreams, God does. Yes. And so Pharaoh ends up promoting Joseph because he interprets the dream accurately. And we come to the end of the story. Go to chapter 50. We come to the end of the story. And Joseph's dream is fulfilled. Look at chapter 50, verse 19. Actually, look at 18. 
Then his brothers also went and fell down before his face and said, Behold, we are your servants. Now, what was the dream? What was the dream? That his sheaves stood upright and his brothers' sheaves bowed down. And they said, Are you going to have dominion over us? Are we going to serve you? Well, <laughs> verse 18 says, Yeah. Verse 19 says, Joseph said to them, But don't be afraid. Am, am, am I in the place of God? But as for you, what you meant for evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring about, as it is this day, to save many people alive. Now, therefore, do not be afraid. I will provide for you and the little ones. And he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Integrity. He got to where he was going, and he didn't act no different. The same guy that was back in 37, naive, humble, telling them about his dream, and they jumped on him, threw him in a pit, is the same guy who was second in command to Pharaoh. Turn around and tell your neighbor, you've got to have a dream and the integrity for, to fulfill it. It takes integrity to fulfill a dream. You can't be compromising along the way. You can't be taking shorts along the way. You can't be flipping out on people along the way. you got to say, you know what, I'm going to do what's right. Even though, even though the Potiphar ain't here, he don't know what's going on in here, I still can't do it to God. Why? Because every man in here has a Heavenly Father, and you have an accountability to Him. Whether, whether or not mom is watching, dad is watching, whether or not your wife is watching, your husband is watching, on, your accountability is to God. That you've got to do what's right in his eyes. Maybe, maybe it is sin against Potiphar, but he says, I'm not going to sin against God. We need sons like Joseph. We're almost done. It's time for sons like Moses. Y'all ready for this? Moses went from a murderer to a deliverer. And for every man in this room and every individual in this room, it feels like, Pastor, you know what? I've done so many things wrong in my life. I messed up. I messed up yesterday. Turn around and tell them, you still can be promoted. You still can be promoted. You still